Welcome to DIY Easy Crafts and BergKnifeMaking.com. Today's video, we're going to take a look at doing a multi tone blade etching on this sea turtle themed chef's knife. Now, I just finished this knife. It's kind of new artwork for me, um, and I'm trying something, you know, a little bit, a little bit different. I'm doing a dark background, and I'm doing a multi tone etching. Uh, so this etching actually is a three tone etching. In the next video, I'll show you how I uh, shaped and profiled and formed and polished uh, these uh, nice handles, which were made by Brad Hunt. But in this video, we're going to focus on the blade on the blade etching. So I cut out the design on a Silhouette Cameo vinyl cutting machine. It's a craft vinyl cutting machine. One of the new steps that I added is these little registration marks, these little squares that I put. Those line up with the bottom of the blade and also the back of the blade. So it allows me to position the blade directly over the vinyl. And then I use just a pencil to confirm uh, that that's exactly where I want it. The cutout is going to appear on the blade exactly where I want it. So now I'm going to transfer that vinyl onto the blade. I've cleaned the blade with, with alcohol. I've dried it. I'm putting some clear contact paper over the self-adhesive vinyl. Then I'll, I'll pull off that back uh, white paper. And now I use that transfer film to position it where I want it. Now I've got a cutout that lines up with the top of the blade on the right and also the top of the blade on the left. I can use those as my visual markers. And now I can place that vinyl. And theoretically, it'll line up exactly where I wanted it to. I use a credit card or a hard plastic card just to make sure that that vinyl is, you know, completely adhered to the blade. And then I will remove uh, that transfer film, the clear transfer film. And in this case, I, like I said before, I just used clear contact paper. It's a little bit less expensive, and I, I think it actually works better than the uh, transfer film that you buy from Silhouette. Now, whether I'm removing the back uh, white paper or this uh, transfer film, you always want to be careful you're not actually lifting off uh, any of the vinyl, any of the details. And now uh, the lengthy process of weeding the vinyl. And weeding is basically pulling off any of the vinyl um, from the design that you want etched. So any of the vinyl that remains in place that steel is going to get covered, it is going to remain covered and therefore remain shiny. Uh, any vinyl that I'm removing is the, are the areas that are going to get etched. So I use a little razor knife and I use a 90 degree uh, tweezer. And I actually wear a um, magnifying glass on my head so I can see the details as my, my eyes are not as good as they used to be. This process doesn't take all that long uh, if you spent enough time on the design to make it kind of a silhouette so that you know most of the lines um, connect with other lines of similar color so that you know when you remove one you're kind of removing them all and that really helps them to hold up to the uh, to the electro etching process it doesn't take long and you get to this stage where I'm ready for the first etching so remember here everything that's exposed is going to get uh, become darker so I electro etch, this is stainless steel, this is AEBL stainless steel blade. I'm going to uh, electro etch using an electro plate, a 12 volt uh, automotive uh, battery charger set at 12 volts, 2 amps. I wrap that electrical, electro plate in gauze wrap and I soak it in a solution of white wine vinegar and salt. And then I etch in 10 to 15 second increments. Um, I don't want that blade to get real hot. This, this sea turtle design is pretty highly detailed. Um, those thin lines are very susceptible uh, to too much heat. So I really want to etch for 10, 15 seconds at a time, let it cool off. Every 30 to 60 seconds, I'm going to disconnect and um, submerge it in, in cool water just to cool it down. If I didn't mention it, the uh, positive lead goes to the back of the blade, the negative lead goes to the electroplate, and everything uh, that the vinyl is not protecting is, is basically, you know, getting etched. So once, once I'm done with etching 
the, the first layer. Then I'll remove the next layer, you know, layer two. And so this one is going to get etched for a le less amount of time and it's going to be a lighter shade. Now don't forget when you're etching this next layer, you can see the area that I've removed there. The entire first area is also going to get etched, you know, a little bit darker. So if your total duration for the first uh, background is going to be, let's say, four minutes, uh, you really only want to uh, etch it for, you know, two and a half or three minutes because you're going to do this second uh, layer for somewhere in that 45 second range to a minute. Also, in, in very short intervals, you know, 10, 15 seconds and, you know, cool it frequently in, in fresh water. The last layer, this is layer three of this three-tone etching. I've now removed the vinyl from the background shark, the background, uh, you know, sea turtle in the distance, as well as some of the coral. And this is going to get etched for an even shorter amount of time. Uh, this is only going to get etched for a total of about 30 seconds. And it's really the, um, the gauze that you use to wrap the electroplate is kind of the design that gets etched, you know, into the steel. If you weren't to move it around so much or change the angles, uh, you, would, you would end up with a, with a pretty distinct pattern from the gauze itself. So when the etching's all done, um, I just use a little razor knife and I, I pull off whatever remaining vinyl there is. I go ahead and put a coat of vinyl on the back of the blade to prevent it from inadvertently getting etched, you know, because this does sit in some electrical, electrolyte solution on that wood. Then I'm just going to use some emery cloth uh, to clean up the blade. And then this will be the first look to see how the finished product is, is going to come out. And for this one, I was, I was pretty pleased. Pretty cool sea turtle design. You've got a sea turtle in the background, a shark in the background. You've got some coral and sea life in the foreground. I contacted my friend Brad Hunt. Uh, he made some beautiful uh, blue and, and green uh, scales for this. Uh, so in the next video, I'll show you how I profile these uh, scales, polish them, uh, mounted them to the blade, as well as uh, how I uh, sharpen blades. That'll be in the next video. I hope you like this one. Uh, if you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. would absolutely love to hear some feedback from you. Um, and also, I'd like to give you an invite to join us on our Facebook group, Knives and Knife Making, as well as uh, if you're interested in making your own knives, check out the book Introduction to Knife Making that Jason Northgard and I did a couple of years back, and you can find that on Amazon.com. Thank you very much.